of you uh, had the problem that we had for Christmas games. Uh, we have one here that the friends of the people next door gave us. It's called Drungo. And uh, you probably had the same problems that we had with Drungo. This is... <laughs> this is the parts. Here are the rules for Drungo. <clears throat> In each box, you will find 33 green ping pong balls cut in half called semis, 11 blue simulated plastic squares called drilligs, 17 yellow rectangular markers called jundos, 11 pink wooden triangles called pink wooden triangles, 143 arrows with orange suction cups on the ends, 106 arrows with red suction cups on the ends, 113 arrows with Glen Plaid suction cups on the ends, two arrows with steel tips dipped in poison Karari. <laughs> One deck of cards with pictures of famous Chinese rickshaw pullers of the early 11th century on their front. One large Drungo board with a catch set on automatic time lock. How to play. First open the Drungo board when the automatic time lock goes off. Take out the 441 pieces and the rickshaw puller's deck of cards. Then disassemble the Drungo box and reassemble it following the 30-page instruction booklet to form one Drungo board. A card table, four chairs, and a self-revolving automatic Susan for a centerpiece on which you can place fruit, nuts, or bits of candy for your guests. Any number of players may play Drungo. Two, three, five, seven, eight, thirteen, or one hundred and six. Whole towns have been known to play. To begin, the player who rolls the highest number on the eleven pairs of dice, which you will find under the drillings and red plastic triangles, goes first. He does not use the pair of dice, the 12th pair in the Drungo box marked high roller first. Should he use the high roller to go first pair of dice in error, he will be penalized and will have to go second. Unless the person going first also used the high roller go first dice in his trial roll in which he will go third. The highest roller going second and the lowest roller going first, unless the lowest roller has more than half the drill eggs or one third the pink wooden triangles in his possession at the time of the opening of the game, in which case no one goes first. However, the person rolling second may challenge the lowest roller by throwing down two yellow rectangular jundos and three pictures of rickshaw pullers while holding the three fingers nearest the little finger of the left hand horizontally. His challenge will all halt opening play unless he should also extend his little finger horizontally, in which case the player being challenged shouts, little finger out, and may penalize the challenger four semis and 11 red suction cup arrows. Provided, of course, he turns three jundos face down before shouting little finger out. Opening moved down the side and we're ready to begin play. The high roller now rolls, including the pair of dice marked high roller first. He tabulates his roll of the 12 pairs of dice, including the high roller go first dice, and moves his drillic a corresponding number of blocks ahead, unless he has thrown an odd number. In which case, he moves his semis one half the total distance and his jundos one third the total distance. He does not move the pink wooden triangles at all. He then takes a card from the rich pullers of the early 19th century and makes a suitable remark about it. If his remark meets with the approval of the other players, he is then allowed to move his pink wooden triangles three spaces forward, unless the player to his right shoots an arrow with a Glen Plant suction cup on it into the air and successfully shouts Drungo three times before it lands. <laughs> if the Glen Plant tipped arrow lands before the third Drungo, the player to his left may move the drilling seven places forward, get a free roll of the dice, except the pair marked high roller go first, and two cards for the rickshaw puller's deck. However, if... If the Glen Platt arrow lands after the third drungle, then all players must place the rickshaw puller's cards face up, and the one with the most pink wooden triangles gets a shot at the lowest roller of the dice with a steel arrow dipped in poison. <laughs> unless, of course, the player to his right has more than four drillings or less than seven jundos at the time. The game then goes along like that. There's also double drungo. <laughs> I guess you've all been reading these instructions. Um, this is simple enough. We'll play this tonight when we get home.